You see this yet? You know, all of your shit comes down on my head. Oh, Frank, look. Th no, this you is... let me talk. It's like you're a big bird with radar, and I'm tired of getting hit. Is this my fault? This is nothing. I've got union lawyers threatening me, and it's talk of a walkout. Well, let them. They're not teaching anything down there anyway. Then it's your job to not do something about it. Not one of them has a personal stake in that school, Frank. Not one. The fire chief was just here. He says it's illegal to bar those doors. Mrs. Barrett is organizing a parents' group to try to get you removed, since you insulted them at that meeting the other night when you just suggested that they get off welfare. Oh, I didn't mean that. Because the fact is, quite a few of them need it. I wasn't talking to all of them, Frank. Now, look, you came and recruited me, man. You disappoint me, brother. You disappoint me. The disappointment here is you! Me? Yes! Look, you know who I am. You know me 30 years. You know what I would do. You know how Nigga, I operate. Nigga, can you keep quiet? The fact is, you're screwing up. You're alienating everybody. Look at you. You have no life. Your wife left you. I ought to walk out on you myself. Well, go ahead. Bail hell on out. But I said I would back you up. That's what you said, Frank. That's what you said. Brother, I will go to the fire with you. But you are not taking care of business. This shit you're pulling now, you just gone plain loco. Now you suspend Darnell. What the hell was that? Darnell is symptomatic of the disciplinary problem. He is that a we're good, having strong, in young black teacher. So he dumped that desk right on top of your head. Well, right on. Good for him. You will reinstate that man, you hear? And then you fire Mrs. Elliot. Why? Because she didn't want to kiss your ass. Well, I wouldn't either. How about that? Mrs. Elliot has an ego. Yeah, well, you lost the best teacher we had. You, we couldn't get her back now if we wanted to. I don't have time for Mrs. Elliot's problem. Well, you better make time. We are being crucified by a process that is turning blacks into a permanent underclass here, Frank. A permanent underclass. No, no, see? Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody. Mrs. Elliot's missionary zeal about Mozart has nothing to do with our problem. Nothing! What good is Mozart going to do a bunch of children who can't go out and get a job? Joe, your personal battles are going to cost us the war. Worry about the test scores. What the hell do you think I'm worried about? Frank? End of discussion! Debate is over. You will write a formal apology. I will what? A formal apology for your treatment of Mrs. Elliot and Darnell and for your vicious and thoughtless insult to the women of this community. You will kowtow, you will step and fetch. Frank, if you think you can Get make me... Get used to it, it's the way of the world. If you're so hot on discipline, then God damn it, start by accepting mine. Because contrary to popular opinion, I'm the head nigger in charge. Come on, let's get something to eat. Boy. You really think you're bad, don't you? <laughs> 